story of Breonna Taylor, born June the 5th, 1993, March, passed away March the 13th, 2020. She was an African-American woman who was shot and unalived while unarmed in Louisville, Kentucky, home by three officers who entered under the auspices of a no-knock search warrant. After Louisville Metro Police Department LMPD ex-detective Brett Hankison was acquitted of felony wanton endangerment of Taylor's neighbors at the state level, Attorney, Attorney General Merrick Garland announced the Department of Justice was charged charging Hankinson with the unconstitutional use of excessive force that violated Taylor's rights. Three other officers who were not present at the shooting were also federally charged with conspiracy in falsifying evidence to procure the search warrant and then covering it up. Her passing away. On the evening of March the 12th, 2020, Taylor invited her aunt, 38-year-old Bianca Austin, out for drinks. Austin, a nursing student at the time, declined. Brianna and her boyfriend, Kenneth Kenny Walker III, stayed home and watched movies instead. After midnight, three plain clothes Louisville Metro persons used a battering ram to enter Taylor's apartment in search of an alleged suspect wanted for trafficking. They were investigating a man, Jamarcus Glover, that Taylor had previously dated. Taylor and Walker were in the bed at the time, believing that they were being robbed. Walker, a licensed carrier, uh, fired off his water, pew pew, at the officers, striking one of them, Sergeant Jonathan Mattingly in the leg. The officers returned fire, 32 shots, 32 shots striking Taylor several times. One of the uh, bullets was fatal and Taylor's body was found in the hallway. No drugs were ever found in the department, in the apartment rather. The police say that they announced themselves prior to entering. It was later found out that was a lie. Walker disputes their claim. The officers were never charged. However, detectives Joshua James, Miles Cosgrove, and Brett Hankinson were all fired following an investigation. Hankinson ultimately was charged by the state with wanton endangerment and was found not guilty. Tamika Palmer and the Taylor family filed a wrongful death lawsuit and received a $12 million settlement in September 2020. In April 2021, Governor Andy Beshear signed Senate Bill 4, known as Brianna's Law, which limits the no-knock policy statewide. In August 2024, U.S. District Judge Charles Ralph Simpson III dismissed felony charges against the former officers Joshua Jaynes and Kyle Meany and declared that Taylor's death was a result of Walker's actions when the police officers entered the apartment. Now, here's a clip from the news, Democracy Now!, with the uh, attorney on the matter. You have officers who lie on a probable cause affidavit to get a no-doubt warrant to bust into a woman's apartment. That Black woman, Breonna Taylor, is killed, and yet the judge says, well, there's nothing they did to cause her death. But yet, we want to blame her boyfriend, a black man named Kenny Walker, who is legally in the apartment, who has a lawful right to be a registered gun owner, who tries to defend his home, his woman, himself. And that is what you're going to say is the cause of her death because they were trying to defend themselves against people they thought were burglarizing their home. It flies in the face of justice and all common sense.